Get ready, y'all, because today we are on the quest for the perfect crab rangoon. <laughs> Fucking goddamn shit hell. We're making not one, but two recipes of crab rangoons because I am very picky about my crab rangoons. I like them extremely sweet, almost like a dessert. So I am going to find the perfect crab rangoon if it kills me. For our first recipe, we are going to need the following. Five ounces of crab meat. This is actually 12 ounces. I have no idea how to measure out five ounces, so we're just gonna wing it. Let's be honest, crab meat is not the star of the show in a crab rangoon. The cream cheese is. So more or less, won't really make a difference. We need four ounces of cream cheese, one green onion, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, wonton wrappers, and some oil for frying. Now, I've never used corn oil before, so I hope this is good for frying. The instructions say to preheat your oil, but I don't know how long this is gonna take me, so I'm not gonna do that yet because I don't wanna burn the house down. I don't know if oil burns or not, but I don't want it to burn, y'all. I don't have any of this mise en place. I know that word because my husband is a server. So I'm gonna to have to chop my onion. I have no idea if I'm supposed to stop at a certain point on the onion. I would imagine you're not supposed to use the white thing. Maybe I should stop up here. Oh, fuck. When chopping onions, you should wear a pair of shades. This makes me nervous. I'm gonna lose a finger. All right, I've got that much onion left. I'm gonna chop some extra onion because it doesn't look like there's very much onion. One hour later. Okay, it says you mix all this stuff up in the bowl, and it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna put the onions in a little bit at a time and taste it as I go. Um, so we'll put about half of them in, maybe. Probably should put all of them in because that was probably one onion that I ended up chopping. Cream cheese, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce. It reminds me of vanilla and I want to measure with my heart, but I feel like that's a bad idea. And that's it. That's like it. There's nothing else to it. We need to mix this up really. Oh, our crab cheese. Uh, where did my crab meat go? Five ounces of crab meat. This is 12 ounces, so a little bit less than half. There's eight sticks. I'm gonna use three sticks. What exactly is imitation crab meat? It looks like string cheese. I guess I just mix all this up. Got my trusty dusty fork. I'm just gonna go to town with it, I guess. I probably should have shredded the crab meat up, huh? Is there like a utensil or something I should be using? This fork just isn't quite cutting it. I kind of want to go in with my hands, but ugh, it's going to be underneath my nails for days. I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> the crab is just not wanting to tear. I think I'm going to use a hand mixer. It's, ugh, see? Oh, yeah. Woo! We learned something today when making crab rangoons. The hand mixer is your best friend. Look at that. Ugh. Smells lovely. Is crab meat safe to eat raw? I would taste test this, but I don't know if imitation crab meat is safe to eat raw. Ugh, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna make me a quick little egg wash with just a tissue of water and just like one egg. Ooh, egg wash. I put a hole in that one already. Foiled by the nails, y'all. Foiled by the nails. I don't really know how much of this to put in here, but I like a lot of, I like a lot of this shit. Look at that little mountain of crab rangoon sauce. My little silicone brush, dip it in my egg stuff, and paint the edges. Really want to make sure, listen to me talking like I know what I'm doing. You really want to make sure to close your wrapper all the way here so that the Filling does not escape from its prison. I'm gonna take some more egg and put it on one of the corners and then close them together too, maybe. Look at that. Look at my Rangoon. Ah, it's so cute. Whoa. Oh no, it's opening. It's opening. It's, it's opening. Yay, another Rangoon. I feel like I am not really sealing these very good and that's gonna be a disaster. 
All right, lay down, little Rangoon. Lay down. Take a nap. <sighs> this would be a lot easier if I didn't have nails on. Of course, go figure. I've managed to make six of these. I'm gonna make six of the other ones because it's just me and Taylor tonight and we could definitely eat 40 crab rangoons, but we ain't gonna. And now for the second crab rangoon recipe. This is a very different recipe. It doesn't really have a lot of ingredients, but it includes powdered sugar, which makes me think that it might be more like the crab rangoons that both Taylor and I like so much. We are going to need two sticks of crab meat, one block of cream cheese, one tablespoon of powdered sugar, but I'm not kidding when I tell you I like them sweet, so I'm gonna do like a heaping tablespoon. Hopefully that doesn't turn out too sweet, but I'm from the South where diabetes runs rampant, so just a pinch of salt. We learned from the last time to use our egg beater, hand mixer, whatever you want to call it. Where I'm from, these is egg beaters, okay? This is filling number two. With these, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to scoop us some filling up in there. Yes, filling. Mmm, how do I want to do this? You know what, fuck it. I'm just going to do these in triangles. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful, wondrous, beautiful. Well, now that we have our 12 Rangoons, I kind of want to get a little bit crazy. I want to mix the two fillings together and see what happens. Let's do it. Yes, this is going to be my own special recipe. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not even going to use the measuring spoon. I'm going to take me a giant ass heap of this powdered sugar and put it in there. I might just do a little more. Why not? You know what? Because I'm grown and I motherfucking can. That's why. You can't stop me. My mama can't stop me. My daddy can't stop me. My granny can't stop me. That bitch was a witch. Okay. All right. Woo! Look at all that powdered sugar. If those aren't sweet enough, then girl, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't. Y'all, let's see what kind of Frankenstein Rangoon I have created. <laughs> My own chaotic little recipe. Ooh, Franken Rangoon. Yes. I have a feeling these are going to be the best ones, to be honest, so I'm going to make six of them, too. We're going to have 18 Rangoons between the two of us. Oh my god, I just noticed something. These are not wonton wrappers, they are wonton skins. Ooh, creepy. <laughs> I've got my pot here. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with some oil. Granted, I was supposed to do this first, but that took forever. That oil would have burned, girl. If oil burns, I don't know. My corn oil. Oh. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. Oh, fucking goddamn shit hell. The little ring broke off without bringing the plastic with it. <laughs> Here, let's see if we can slice this thing open and dig it out. Well, it's open. I mean, it can, it can stay in there. It, it's just gonna have to stay in there. All right, we are ready to start frying. That took forever to heat up. Can y'all get in the comments and let me know if oil burns so that I know whether or not I should preheat my oil next time? I mean, I know normally you should preheat your oil, of course, but I had no idea how long that was going to take me, and it did take me a really long time to make those things. So hop in the comments and let me know if oil burns, if it's safe to preheat your oil for a very long time or not. Look at our fabulous plate of rangoons. I guess I'm gonna use this because I don't have one of those like netted dipper thing. I need to get one of those. I should have gotten one of those, huh? Look at their freebies in here. Look at all my freebies. Oh my god, they're bubbling up just like crab rangoons. <laughs> they're like little boats. They won't flip around. I think my rangoons are full of hot air. You know what? I'm gonna switch spoons. I need a spoon with some holes in it. How do I know when the Imitation crab is finished cooking. I don't want to like be eating. 
I'm gonna get food poisoning from these crab rangoons. <laughs> I mean, those look pretty successful. Oh, nope, something's cold in there. I have no idea how to tell when they're done. Yum. All right, batch number two. These are definitely sinking better than the last one, so I think I like triangular better than whatever the hell those first ones were. Ooh, these are great! Oh, and you can flip these too. These are easier to flip. I think I could have filled up the triangles a little bit more. My filling is escaping! No! Look how beautiful those are. This one... The crab rangoon was escaping from its little prison there. It was jumping out of its skin, if you will. <laughs> Franken ragoons. Oh, look at that. We got our first recipe over here, our second recipe here, and our Franken goons here. <laughs> we have crab rangoons! The appetizer is finished. It only took me four hours to make. <laughs> We still have our pineapple fried rice and our General Tso's chicken to make completely from scratch. But in the meantime, let me know which Crab Rangoon is your favorite. Oh my god, here we go. These are number one. Oh, that's cute. Look at you. We're okay. Number one is just okay. A little too crabby and meh. Not sweet at all. No. All right, are you ready to try number two? Number two. Hope number, number two. One. I hope it is too. Number two didn't have a lot of ingredients, so I'm a little nervous about it. But uh, it it is the sweeter one. It does have powdered sugar in it. Yeah. Here goes. Definitely better than number one. Definitely better than number one for sure. I think it needs more more innards. More stuff. Mm -hmm. More stuff. I'm actually glad I'm such an attractive eater. Almost as attractive as me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Not bad, though. The third one is my Franken Rangoon. Mm. It is a mixture of these two, and I added quite a bit more powdered sugar. Okay, dope. Down the hatch. Nope. Mm -mm. Well... We didn't do it today, folks. We most definitely did not. Don't try any of these recipes, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all have a good, sweet crab rangoon recipe, hop down in my comments, link it, send it to me in a message. I don't care. Help me, please. Our crab rangoons need help. <laughs> well, that was as disappointing as my life. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should leave the Rangoon into the Chinese. Mm, yeah, I don't know. These I'm following the recipes. I'm just following recipes here. Crab Rangoon 1, a no-go. Mm -mm. um, mm -mm. Crab Rangoon 2 was okay. Mm. It, was a, it, it needed was more okay. stuffing. I think I, I think I understuffed them. Needed a little bit more filling, but the filling was good. It was good stuff. Oh. And number three, Frankengoon did not like. Ooh, Frankengoon was a special kind of hateful. Did not like. Not pleasant. Um, not pleasant at all. Sweet and sour sauce. The sweet and sour sauce desired. was so vinegary. It tasted like pure vinegar. It but was, it was real pretty. It was very pretty. It, My <laughs> food looks beautiful, but ugh. I wouldn't necessarily go around eating it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys learned something today, or if you didn't, or if you just had fun watching me suck real bad, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell thing. So, I, 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 what does the bell do? Do you know what the bell does? Notifications. What is, what, I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, when you put up a video, it will notify them. I'm old. Oh, oh my God, hit that little bell thing. Like it's like going out of style. ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling Well, now we have to make the other courses. Oh. How long is that gonna take? My bedtime is in an hour and a half. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, you wanna order takeout? <laughs> now those are some crab rangoon. Mm. Now that one. The perfect crab rangoon. Mm.